Hello friends, it is good to be with you again this week. I do hope you have been outside these past couple of days. It has been beautiful. We have the fall colors and at the same time it's been warm and summer-like. What a joy this has been before the colder temperatures set in. I do hope that you were in worship with us at First United Methodist Church, Bella Vista, this past Sunday. Reverend Jean shared a message entitled, How Much? And her answer to the question was for each of us to reflect upon, I don't know, what do you think? Each of us is called to be a part of what Christ is doing in our world. We are often called to help in a variety of ways, financial and in ways of service. Often it is hard to know when we should help and when we shouldn't. Having a conversation with God can answer that question. If each of us prayerfully ponders how much and admit to our God, you know, I don't know, what do you think I should do? God will nudge us toward the answer we are called to give. There is a devotional message in the upper room that was in there a while ago that spoke to, to this very idea. The author considered our acts of service and reflected on them in light of the story of Samuel. Hear this scripture that tells the story of Samuel. It's from 1 Samuel chapter 3 verses 1 through 10 and I am reading from the message translation by Eugene Peterson. The boy Samuel was serving God under Eli's direction. This was at a time when the revelation of God was rarely heard or seen. One night, Eli was sound asleep. His eyesight was very bad. He could hardly see. It was well before dawn and the sanctuary lamp was still burning. Samuel was still in bed in the temple of God, where the chest of God rested. And then God called out, Samuel, Samuel. And Samuel answered, yes, I'm here. And then he ran to Eli saying, I heard you call, here I am. And Eli said, I didn't call, you go back to bed. And so he did. And God called again, Samuel, Samuel. And Samuel got up and went to Eli and said, I heard you call, here I am. And Eli said, son, I didn't call you, go back to bed. This had all happened before Samuel knew God for himself. It was before the revelation of God had been given to him personally. And then God called again, Samuel, the third time. Yet again, Samuel got up and went to Eli and said, Yes, I heard you call me. Here I am. And that's when it dawned on Eli that God was calling the boy. So Eli directed Samuel, go back and lie down. If the voice calls again, say, speak, God. I am your servant. I am ready to listen. And so Samuel then returned to his bed. Then God came and stood before him exactly as before, calling out, Samuel, Samuel. And Samuel answered, Speak, Lord. I am your servant, and I am ready to listen. We give thanks for God's word in the story of Eli and Samuel. The message in the upper room is called Faithful Servant, and it is written by Wadi Mollier, who lives in India. Hear the reflection that she shares with us. One of my favorite Bible stories is that of Samuel. His mother Hannah had begged God to give her a child. God blessed her with a son, Samuel, whom Hannah brought to serve in the temple. We can imagine little Samuel helping Eli, the high priest in the temple of Shiloh. Samuel might have done chores and run errands for Eli and the believers who came to the temple. Samuel's work must have been hard, but he served diligently as a loving and faithful steward in God's house. Samuel served God with all his strength, 
He didn't complain when he thought Eli was calling him in the middle of the night. He was zealous. For Samuel, no work was menial and every job was important. Because Samuel was faithful in small matters, God entrusted him with big matters. Samuel eventually became one of Israel's greatest prophets. Loving God with all our strength means volunteering our time, talents, care, and resources for God and for others. No work is menial or degrading in the service of God. Every act of service is holy and pleasing to God. The story of Samuel can inspire us to serve God with all our strength. Please pray with me. Creator God, God who loves us and calls each of us to be a part of God's family, help us to serve you like Samuel did. Help us to know how much to give you. Remind us to be zealous in our work. Remind us to have a conversation with you as we seek to know your call. Help us to see our acts of service as sacred and that they bind us to you. They are pleasing in your sight. Lead us, Lord, to, lo to lovingly serve you in all things and to share that spirit with others. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bye, friends. See you next time.